So it's safe to say that if any of you guys have ever watched YouTube videos about natural hair, how to take care of it, maintenance, cleansing, anything like that, you've probably come up on the ACV wash thing. Everyone's done it, everyone kind of knows about it. And it's almost like a staple product to use for natural hair, and you get generally good reviews about it, but I actually haven't used it yet. In fact, I actually use most of it for my smoothies in the morning. I actually haven't used it in my hair. And I even bought the baking soda too, to go with it. But again, haven't even opened it, and I started to wonder, should I use the ACV wash? Is it worth it? So I kind of wanted to talk about what the apple cider vinegar is and what it does to your hair, why to use it, just to talk more about it as opposed to just jumping into it and doing it because everyone else does it. So what is apple cider vinegar? Apple cider vinegar is literally vinegar made from crushed apples or cider that's fermented over time. It's used for baking, cooking, cleansing. It's become one of the staple naturalistic items to use for your skin, digestion, hair, just a little bit goes a long way. It's really strong and uh, 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 doesn't taste that good, but there's a lot of good benefits to it that a lot of people are figuring out. It's safe, it's organic, it's natural, and it's a lot better than using products that you know have a bunch of like names and chemicals that you have no idea what it is. So it's a really good alternative. And a lot of people who use the ACV rinse also add baking soda. It's another way of cleansing your hair. You only need a little bit that goes a long way to help further the cleansing process. I also hear that works pretty well, mixing the baking soda and the apple cider vinegar. Although, all you really need is apple cider vinegar and water. Water is another important thing that you have to add because the ACV is pretty strong. It has high pH value, which is good for balancing your hair but it's also very acidic, so you wanna dilute it with water. It's up to you how much you wanna dilute it, but you should still add water regardless. So why are ACV rinses so popular? Well, basically, it's a very naturalistic way to cleanse your hair that's safe for your hair, and a lot of people have noticed benefits over time. It helps get rid of buildup, product residue, dirt, oil. It can also be a simple way to refresh and strengthen your hair. It's organic, it's holistic, it removes buildup without stripping your hair as harshly as chemicals do. A lot of times after people use ACV rinses, they notice smoother, shinier hair over time. It helps seal the hair follicles. It maintains moisture, it prevents split ends. It even has antibacterial and antifungal properties that can help prevent itchy scalp, dandruff. It's known to stimulate your hair follicles to help promote hair growth. So with this huge list of things that are great about it, why haven't I used it yet? Again, I bought the products. It seems like everyone has tried it. People with locks, people with natural hair, ACV rinses, even people who don't have natural hair or black hair. I've seen everyone use it at one point in time. And I guess my answer to that is that I haven't really felt the need to use it. In my lock journey so far, all I've really done is wash my hair once or twice a week and spritz with either aloe vera juice, rosemary water, or just simple water. My goal in this journey is to keep it as simple and minimalistic as possible. The less you do to your hair, the less maintenance, the less products you put in it and stress over it. I feel like the more it will grow, the more it will flourish. I really want to keep it as simple as possible. And so far, I couldn't be more pleased with the results that I've been getting. I don't feel like my hair is weak. I don't feel like it needs strengthening or needs moisture or anything. I've been really happy with how it looks, how it feels. Maybe it could be a little bit more smooth and shiny, but I kind of accept the way my hair is. <laughs> my hair is coarse, and that's okay with me. It could use a little bit more shine, but honestly, I, you know, it's it's dark hair, and I mean, it's it's a really small thing that I just didn't really feel the need to chase after. My hair feels really strong, it's never itchy, I never really have itchy scalp. Again, I really haven't had any problems with my hair from what I'm doing, and as simple as my maintenance is, adding yet another thing, I just haven't really felt the need to indulge in that urge to try something new or, oh, my hair's gonna be even more strong or even more shiny or even more smooth, even more, I don't know, like there's always that 
it could be more this, it could be more that. And in the past, I, I used to be a product junkie when I had loose natural hair. I wanted to try so many different things to make my hair better, 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 but honestly, I couldn't be happier with my hair as it is right now. And it seems really healthy, so I didn't really feel the need to use another product when my hair is already healthy. And even though there's so many health benefits to ACB rinses for your hair, and actually, I mean, I still use it. I use it in my smoothie, more for digestion and to work from the inside out. So I'm still getting the benefits of it, but I just felt like, you know, putting it in my hair is just not something I really needed to do. And um, the smell also is like, ugh, ugh, ugh. And I wanted to ask you guys personally, have you ever tried the ACV rinse? If you have, what were the results? How does your hair feel? Do you keep doing it? How often do you do it? I want to hear your guys' responses, and I'm sure one day I will try it. You know, I don't want to completely knock it. I definitely see the benefits of it, but as of now, I haven't, and I was going to make a video about it, but I just wanted to be honest with you guys. Um, I know it's a trend to do on YouTube. ACV rinses seem to be a staple for hair in general for cleansing, but I still want to hear what you guys have to say and give me any sort of advice or feedback about what happened when you used it or maybe you don't believe in it. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your comments and suggestions and we can start a conversation about ACV rinses because it's a huge thing on YouTube. It's funny. It's just everybody has done it. Everyone says it's good, but still, I want your honest opinion, so leave comments below, let me know what you guys think, and as always, thank you for watching.